This video demonstrates a step-by-step -step installation procedure for the Yale InTouch standalone touchscreen access cylindrical lock. Prior to starting the installation process, ensure that the door is prepped as shown in the attached PDF illustration. The 2 1 8 inch and 3 quarter inch holes are critical to a correct installation along with the centerline distances between these two holes of 3 and a half inches. The 1 inch diameter latch bolt hole is equally critical in the successful installation of this lock. For the purposes of this video, we will demonstrate the installation of this lock into a prepped door, 1 and 3 quarter inches thick and having a 2 and 3 quarter inch back set. With the door prepped verified, the lock is now ready to remove from the packaging. Parts as follows should be verified as being in the curtain. Quick start instructions. Installation instructions. Door marker. Outside touchscreen assembly. Inside discussion assembly. Inside support assembly. Inside discussion. Inside lever handle. Battery cover. Four AA alkaline batteries. Latch bolt. Strike. Three and a 30 second Allen wrench. Lever removal tool. Screw pack, including seven screws, two keys, if cylinder locking function. Tools required for the installation of this lock are a number two Phillips screwdriver, lever removal tool supplied, and a three and a 30 second Allen key supplied. Now we are ready to proceed with installing the lock. Disassemble the inside discussion by removing the inside lever with the lever removal tool supplied. Separate the inside support assembly from the inside escutcheon. Now, remove the battery cover using the Allen key provided. Slide the battery cover off. Note that the hex screw does not come out completely. Find the latch bolt and install in the door, ensuring that the bevel edge of the bolt faces the strike lip. Attach the two screws provided. Now install the strike in the frame and attach with the two screws provided. Take the outside assembly and insert assembly through the 2 and an eighth inch hole and door. Ensure that the lock frame engages with the latch bolt tails as shown. Latch bolt tails must engage the lock frame to operate correctly. Do not force the latch bolt and lock frame if it will not engage. Remove the outside assembly and check door prep dimensions. In this process, the touchscreen cable is guided through the 3 quarter inch diameter upper hole above the 2 and 1 8 inch board hole. Now guide the motor cable through the rectangular hole on the inside support assembly while carefully sliding the inside support assembly over the outside assembly. Once fitted, secure both assemblies with the two number 10 32 by 2 1⁄2 inch flathead machine screws from the screw pack. Do not over tighten. Now attach the motor cable connector to the inside discussion PC board header marked motor. Attach the touch screen connector cable to the inside discussion PC board header as shown. Select easy or advanced mode using the switch on the back of the PC board as shown. This is most critical for programming purposes. For the purpose of this video, we will demonstrate the easy mode. Now slide the inside discussion over the inside support assembly. Caution should be taken when positioning the motor cable, as to avoid pinching the cable against the steel shank of the assembly. Additionally, the touch screen wire cable should be folded in the form of a Z against the back recessed area of the escutcheon assembly as shown. Position and bend the wires to prevent binding when installing the escutcheon over the support assembly. Once the wires are connected, install and secure the number 10 32 by 3 quarter inch pan head screw through the center of the battery housing into the barrel nut of the outside assembly. Now slide on the inside lever and push in to attach it. You are now ready to install the four AA alkaline batteries into the battery housing, noting the polarity of each. Correctly installed batteries will wake up the lock, and it will respond by saying, Welcome to the Yale Digital World. Finally, install the battery cover and tighten the hex head screw with the Allen wrench provided. In part two of this video segment, we will demonstrate how to program the lock in easy mode.